we're on the road again, finally. We are heading to a new gold field. All we need to do is get supplies and get a few things done because I haven't been able to do any bigger shopping lately. slow going too, mainly in Turkey yeah, because the roads are so rough. There are a few washouts here and there but the corrugation is shocking. I've just left the last town so I've lost the service already. It has been going all right, it's uh, overheated a few times but yeah I just had to slow down, pretty good so far. I just recognized that hill over there. I spent hours sitting on there trying to upload a video that was about, I don't know, maybe two years ago? It is summer here in Australia and you are probably wondering why I'm driving into the hottest region in the world. The answer is simple. I'm doing a mate a favor by looking after a mining camp as he had to attend family matters over east. It's going to be challenging, it's going to be very hot and I'm expecting to see a lot of rain which will cut me off from the rest of the world. I'm ready for another adventure. If you are too, please subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes. Welcome to the Pilbara. I just love it up here, just looking at this beautiful countryside and I'm even more excited now that I've got the detector started up and I've got a chance to have a look around here. Weather is not too bad today. It's actually quite nice with that breeze because the last few days we had uh, temperatures in the mid 40s. I chose to pull up here because it just looks so rugged. I don't think that too many people would have made their way in here, which is why I'm not expecting too much rubbish around here. of the day right below a quartz outcrop on the side of a hill sounds like rubbish yeah I'm expecting a bullet or something being this location here but you never know can't see anything yet Let's try the magnet. Ah, oh, there it is. Just a bullet shell. Yeah, it sounded pretty loud. 44. Big casing. I started off earlier this morning, the quad is somewhere over there and I detected around yeah the whole area there but unfortunately ended up with only two bullet casings but now I'm back down on a flat here where I've got another screaming signal just somewhere in here noisy signal I could probably just wave the magnet but just in case it's gold, I'm just going to scrape it a little bit more carefully here because some of the nuggets here were really shallow. <laughs> right shape, wrong material. <laughs> That's a massive lead nugget. Could be a 44, maybe the one matching the casing that I found. 
I haven't had any more targets. I've walked a few kilometers already. Uh, swinging quite fast, detecting pretty quickly across the ground here just to cover as much ground as possible because I don't know if the gold is here or if it's half a kilometer along this range. So in order to find out, I'd rather go a bit faster, swing a bit faster and go for the easy targets. Once I found gold, of course, I'm going to slow down, but that hasn't been the case yet. We'll keep on swinging. I think I've made up a plan for the next step which will be I'm just gonna drive straight across that way and have a look what the ground looks like over there at this stage I've covered pretty much the ground along this hillside here it continues on for another kilometer and a half and I've walked that way as well so I'm just gonna take the quad and explore the country over there see what it looks like up somewhere else uh, it was too windy on the flat so I dropped down into the main creek here now and I've got my first signal just here nice rock bar coming up too oh black ashes That's an old burned out tree root and they give a noise on the detector. I bet that's what it was. I'm running the machine in normal so it is a bit more sensitive towards these hot rocks and ashes. Definitely no sharp signal. The signal sort of dispersed over the area which is why I'm gonna fill it back in and keep working this creek upstream. Another hole for noisy ground. I might have to change my setting soon. It's lunchtime now. I still haven't found any gold, so I'm gonna have a bit of a rest here and then head back out. Don't want to go back to the camp without a piece of gold today. Ooh, whirly wind. And there it is. Big sandstorm. That's where I had lunch under that shady tree there. And I decided to have another scout around here. This time I'm walking up this way and I've got a signal here. So that's very exciting because so far I've only had three targets. A shotgun pellet. No. Oh. oh, it's warm. It's very warm. Oh. But refreshing. Those X 
handle or pick handle tags, I think. Targets are coming in more frequently now. Oh, I can see a nail. Just an old rusty nail. It's a bullet casing. It's just a small shell, this one. Just a bit of tin on the magnet here. In such a good spot. But I'll just work this creek further down. Looks like a few storm clouds are rolling in. As soon as it starts raining, I'll have to get out of here. Otherwise, I won't be able to get back to the camp. But it's not raining yet. Although it may look like it, but uh, it's just sweat. I've got another signal here, which is probably going to make me sweat again because it's in the concreted. Uh, bottom of this creek here. Just a hot rock. Unfortunately we didn't find any gold yesterday but that's just how it goes sometimes. That's what you gotta expect when out prospecting. So today I'm gonna give it another chance nearby as well because I'm on my own. I'll slowly explore the area around where I'm camping here to not head too far. Nevertheless I think we've got a fair chance of picking up some gold. I had a look on the geology map and there's a fault line running right through the area which I want to detect. The bike is ready to go and so am I. Let's head out there. I want to be up in there somewhere. We'll just keep going, have a look at what the ground looks like and then go for a little detect around that area. By the looks of it, this is going to be another very quiet day because I've been detecting for maybe an hour and a half and I just got my first uh, target. Can't even say it, that's how surprised I am. So first signal of the day, let's see what we've got. <coughs> I'm just working along this little creek here. It's still in the hole. Could be something good. But yeah, it's a bit loud. But yeah, maybe nobody else has swung his detector over this particular spot here. Still in the hole. Well, now I'm getting a bit curious. Just because there is no rubbish around here. No targets at all. And now I'm digging down. Maybe it is a nugget. Okay, so just in here somewhere. Can we see something golden? Please, yes. <laughs> Hang on, I'll get the other camera. There you go, I can actually see gold. Oh, there we are. There. Unreal. It took a long time to find this one. Oh, how big is it gonna be? Nice. That's going close to a gram. How awesome. <laughs> and that's a nice water-worn chunk here. 
beautiful that honestly is a surprise find <laughs> i did not really think it was going to be gold but since i haven't found any rubbish up here either chances were a bit higher to find a nice one grammar which is not far off the surface and a screaming noisy target on the detector that's what i love this area for not much rubbish around and you could find sun baker nuggets around here finally we are onto it uh, there's a lot of country in between the targets and i'm probably two kilometers from the bike by now i can't even see it anymore so i'm gonna have a good scout around here looks a bit rugged there's a lot of quartz there's schist there's iron stone there's iron schist a good mix out of everything plus i'm right on the fault line here i've been following it down for quite a while let's go and look for the next one I've been circling around that last gold hole there without success. I'm just detecting up on these flats here with another signal, finally. Took a while to find it. Can we see anything? It sounds a bit rubbishy, but it's the first target that I'm getting since our nugget, which is about uh, 50 meters from here. Oh, it is gold. <laughs> Did you see it pop out? Boah, not as big as the, as the first one, but it's another piece of gold. Only super shallow here. Ooh, I almost, almost dropped it. But yeah, really good. So the first one was down on that bank there, on the other side of that quartzy outcrop. And now I'm just working my way up this bank here. And finally, onto it again. It is quite common to find one nugget patches but where there's one piece of gold there technically should be more which is why I always circle around the area for a while. It's hard enough to find gold producing spots so it's definitely worthwhile to spend some more time in those spots where you found the gold which is what I'm gonna do now. I will walk up uh, and continue the bank of this gully here and then probably come back down on the other side looks a bit sandy on the bottom here so everybody does the gullies i'm not going to spend much time in there i'd rather concentrate on these flats around here chances are not as high that somebody swung a coil over certain spots like this one here because that was not hard to hear at all there are a few storm clouds moving towards me in the background here the detector is going stupid because of electromagnetic interferences caused by the lightning in the clouds so i'm gonna call it quits for today i'm gonna head back to the camp i've been out here for six hours now and i only had two targets for the whole day both turned out to be gold so i can't complain about the gold trash ratio out here but nevertheless i'm gonna head back to the camp i'm quite happy to have uh, two waypoints in a new area to which i can return so that's what the weather has been doing lately it's a wet season it's summer so it is to be expected to get the occasional storm. I'm still used to that from far north Queensland. I spent a few wet seasons up there, so that's what it is. You'd go detecting until lunchtime because that's when the storms start rolling in and start messing with your detector. The early bird catches the worm. The earlier I get up, the earlier I'm out here and I can put more hours in during the day. <laughs> These flies. <laughs> early mornings it is. All right, I made it back to the camp. And in this case, it's actually a real camp. The storms are brewing in the distance. I can hear the occasional thunder. So I'm just gonna quickly put these uh, two very different looking nuggets on the scales. One was found in the red schist and the other one in the gray shale. So that's why they just look a bit different. They could even have different sources because it was probably about 50 meters from each other. So we'll just put them on the scales. I'm hoping for one gram of gold. What's your guess? I'll start with the smaller one. 0.26. And the second one, the biggest one, I was hoping for a gram out there, but 
Oh, I'll be struggling to get there, I think. Oh yeah, at least close to a gram for that one piece. Over a gram in total, 1.18. That's definitely not the best day that I've ever had, but it wasn't the worst either, because yesterday I didn't get any gold at all. So I'm quite happy with a gram of gold and a spot that I can return to. So I know that there is gold there. I can only cover so much ground with my little coil. I definitely have more work to do out there. Yes, I know, I haven't shown you the camp yet and what I do around here. That'll be something for the next video, so please subscribe if you want to follow along again. Thanks again for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for tagging along again. Stay safe out there. I'll see you in the next one.